Factors affecting solubility. Three factors that affect solubility. Molecule size, pressure, temperature. Very similar to the factors that are responsible um, to, well, that assist in dissolving of material. Okay, so notice these factors, very similar to the factors of dissolving, but do not confuse them. Because what did we have in the other one? Well, instead of pressure, we had agitation. We still had temperature, we still had size, but this, these three factors deal with solubility, not with dissolving. So we're looking at factors affecting solubility. Molecule size, generally the smaller the molecule, the more soluble it is. So let's look at um, a couple of these. Okay, so we have methanol, ethanol, propanol, butanol, pentanol. Infinitely soluble, so very soluble. Look at it, CH3OH, smallest molecule. Now we're adding CH2 to it. Still infinitely soluble, but it's still rather small. But now notice, very soluble. So infinitely, always soluble. Okay, so missable, very missable. So we're still very soluble, but not as soluble as infinitely. Notice now, as we're adding more carbons and hydrogens, and we're reaching the butanol and the pentanol levels, notice the, the, um, the number of grams that are dissolving in 100 milliliters of water, and this is at the temperature of 25 degrees. And we know as we increase temperature, we can dissolve more within a given amount of volume. And then look at this, we add another CH2 to the mix and we reduce the amount that we can actually dissolve it so that we, we reduce the solubility. So as the size here decreases, okay, so size decreases in this direction, right? notice how the solubility also decreases in the same direction. So molecule size, the bigger the molecule, the less likely it will be able to, to be soluble. So solubility uh, is better for those molecules that are smaller. Pressure usually affects gases. As pressure above the surface of a solvent increases, the solubility of gases also increases. Okay, so think about, uh, you know, your pop bottles, right? The, 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 the amount of pressure that's, that's within that bottle. Right? The, the, the gas that is dissolved within that liquid. Right? So as we the surface of the solvent increases, solubility of the gases also increases. Temperature. Three different, uh, uh, three different things affect, and depending on the state of matter, okay, solids, liquids, gases. So solids. As temperature increases, solubility also increases. So in order to overcome the strong intermolecular forces of attraction, Okay, the temperature has to increase, and by increasing the temperature, you're increasing the kinetic energy, therefore giving the molecules more energy to allow them to be soluble. Right? Liquids. Solubility of liquids are generally unaffected by changes in temperature. It doesn't really matter, right? They're liquids, they're already at that liquid stage. So really not much, but if we're looking at solids, in order to overcome that, 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 that the force that's held between that solid within that the, the, the liquid of the solvent, okay, we need to uh, increase the temperature, right? We need to increase that kinetic energy. And we've looked at that uh, previously. Gases, solubility of gases decreases as temperature increases because ja gases lose energy as they dissolve. Therefore, any increase in temperature gives the gas more energy and therefore lowers the, um, the solubility. So we really, we don't want to, uh, to increase the temperatures of gases for that matter. 